Welcome to the Dustin Fort Walton Beach Airport and to the Okaloosa Today Show. We are taping on site at the airport. I am Kathy Newby, the Public Information Officer for Okaloosa County, and I would like to welcome our guest, pretty new Airports Director Tracy Stage. Welcome, Tracy. Thank you so much. I'm so excited you guys are here on scene at the airport at VPS, that's the Fort Walton Beach Airport. I love coming to the airport because everybody at the airport's happy. They're either yeah. greeting people coming to see them or they're going somewhere fun and exciting. So. And, and then, you know, honestly, that's, that's, that's one of the biggest job satisfactions you get here. You get to see the military, one military member coming back from a long deployment and their entire squadron or group is out here to greet them. Uh, you see sad times too, um, but a majority of everybody's extremely happy. We make it easy, so uh, wonderful facility. Well, thank you for being here, and we mm. have a lot going on at all three of our airports, including this one, the Bob yep. Sykes Airport, and the Destin Airport, and we're gonna talk about all that today. But, but let's start with, um, you've been with the county for a long time, and now you've been airport, our airport's director as of recently, but you've been with the county for a long time. You've been right here at the airport. You want to talk a little bit about that, let folks know about Yeah, I have, uh, you know, for the past just about 10 years um, with the Okaloosa County Airport System. So I've seen a lot of change at all three airports, and I've been a part of a lot of it. Um, it's been a tremendous honor to serve the citizens and uh, now being the director of the system, get to kind of see it with the vision that I've had for years. Right. Uh, so moving forward, um, a lot of great things. We've accomplished a tremendous amount of uh, good for the citizens and for the airport system just in the last six months. So look forward to talking about it with you. We are going to talk about that. Yeah. Well, well, do you want to start with... Um, with the great job that your staff does. And the, yeah. uh, y'all go through several inspections a year. I mean, it is a regulatory place. We have to keep the public safe. So you go through a lot of, you have a lot of regulations that you have to meet and criteria you have to meet and inspections you have to pass. You want to talk You're about right. that? It's, we're inspection ready at a moment's notice, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because that's when we could uh, possibly be inspected. However, or, there or are have a, or have an issue, right? Right, absolutely. So, however, we do have uh, scheduled annual inspections from the FDOT and the FA and the TSA. Uh, most recently, we went through our uh, Florida Department of Transportation Aviation inspections at our General Aviation Airports and passed with flying colors. Uh, just last week, we had our FA annual certification inspection, which, uh, at the end of the day, gives us our ability to operate our certificate to be a commercial service uh, airport so um, yes the staff I believe there's a, f a photo that that you the the folks at home can see uh, there's just a few of us not not everybody here today um, but I can't say enough about the staff that's the horsepower behind th this system and they do a tremendous job uh, the FAA has commended us in writing on our FAA in inspection so yeah, it's a daily effort. they don't effort. normally do that, do they? It's a tireless daily effort yeah. from the heart. The, the staff is extremely uh, uh, happy to be here, and they do a, tr a terrific job. With, a, with yep. a pretty lean staff, too, I might add. Extremely. Our numbers aren't even close to what our competitors have, and we have three airports to operate and manage. So That's true. Wow. So. All right, well, let's get on and talk about the Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport. We've sure. got some new bookings. We've got some new carriers. What do you want to talk about first? Yeah, like, like I said, the, the staff, for years, we have been working to attract uh, additional airlines. That's something we do on a daily basis. We meet with airline executives. We go to their headquarters and meet with them. And there's always been airlines that are on our radar that we're always going after. Uh, most recently, as most folks know, we were able to secure Allegiant Airlines. It's a, a huge deal. They're ranked number three out of all the carriers in the United States. They've been flying in Florida for about 10 years, and we got them. So um, a little background on that. Uh, again, years of efforts to right. attract them here. But what really put us over the edge, uh, in addition to our relationship on Eglin Air Force Base, was the Tourist Development Council. The airport staff went to the TDC and requested an incentive request at $3 million. The TDC unanimously uh, approved that request, and that's what put us over the top uh, with our, our competition. 
that right? Our, our rates and charges are lower than any of our competing airports. And that's mainly because we're on the world's largest military installation and the partnership we have at Eglin. So Talk a little bit about that, Tracy. Sure, sure. We're, uh, we're essentially a terminal. We do not manage the airfield. We do not manage the air traffic control tower. Uh, we do not have all the staff to maintain the runways. That's Eglin Air Force Base. Through a, a joint use agreement and enhanced use lease, we operate on Eglin. So some of the charges and the cost to operate a commercial service part, part 139 airport, like our competitors, have all those costs and all, all of the men and equipment and women and machinery to, to do all that. We don't have that here. So obviously our charges and rates are so much lower than our competitors, which the airlines want. They want to operate next to nothing. And, and that's what we were able to do. So uh, that said, we attracted Legion. In January, they announced service to VPS, flying to Cincinnati and St. Louis uh, twice a week. And the bookings, advanced bookings were so successful, within seven days they added an additional frequency to three times a week. Uh, wow. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. It didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. So. Um, Less than a month later, they came back and announced four additional cities. Knoxville, Memphis, Oklahoma City, and for the first time, we got interstate service, Fort Lauderdale. So uh, six That's cities in the first three months of 2016, the annual economic impact return on investment of that $3 million initially is almost $14 million in just the first season. That and tourist great. spending, that's just tourist spending. So. Um, from an air service development standpoint, we have done tremendously well. And we'll see, uh, the, the, the citizens will see uh, in the next coming years, we, we fully expect Allegiant to add, incrementally add uh, cities each year, one to two cities every year uh, until we're maxed out. Well, that is wonderful news. It is. And, it is. Uh, and those flights Huge have success. been so, so successful and, yeah. and busy. And, and as you can see, our yeah. airport is very busy. Is. So. And, and like I told you, I can't say enough about the staff. My deputy airports director, Mike Stinson, uh, our finance staff, uh, the maintenance, it, everybody has a, a job to do. And their job is extremely important, what makes us to be so successful, to get new airlines. And you know, we also got Glow Airlines too. Uh, they're flying a 30 seat Saab turboprop 340 aircraft. Very nice uh, aircraft. It's beautiful aircraft. Uh, Lots they, of space. There is. Uh, they fly Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to Little Rock, and the loads have been great. They, they started off with 8, 10 folks. It's catching on. Um, the last aircraft that was coming in, 25, 27 people on board. So it's that time of the year, the peak of the season. Uh, we hope to look. Uh, to look to see what GLOW can also offer. So we're working with them with some pos possible interstate service as well. Well, that sounds wonderful. Mm. And, and again, these aren't going to break the bank, right? You, you're not going to, you're still going to have money to spend when you get here or when you go there. These for $29. Are, these are pretty reasonable For $39, flights. You, yeah. you can get on Allegiant from uh, Knoxville, from Oklahoma City, and spend three to five to seven days here uh, in our beautiful county. Right, when well, we look forward to having those yes. those visitors here and they can mingle with the locals while yes. they're here. Uh, that's one of the neat things about coming to a small area it like is. this and it's a wonderful time. And, and you'll see, because we got an ultra low, low cost carrier, you'll see fares start to decrease on Delta and American and United. Which by the way, uh, this weekend, uh, American Airlines brings back their seasonal uh, Washington, D.C. service. Starts, flies on Saturdays and Sundays. That's great. So uh, they're starting that back up. They have added. That was a very popular flight. It, and we have and it. And now we have it back. We have That's it back. It's, it's seasonal service. So um, uh, the bookings on that is, the, that, that is extremely successful as well. They're, they're bringing in larger aircraft from 50 seats to 70 seats on a, a 175 aircraft brand new aircraft on uh, American Airlines. So. Did, they, did those start yet? This weekend. That's what I thought. This because, weekend. Yeah, actually my husband was on the inaugural flight probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's super. But. In, in addition to that, the, they've upped their frequencies from eight times a day to Dallas to 10 now. Uh, United is up in their frequency to Houston, an additional two flights a day. So across the board, we are knocking it out of the park. That's and again, wonderful. 
The staff does an incredible job. They're the ones that keep the rates and charges low for these carriers to be uh, looking at us. Well, that is wonderful yes, news yes. for Oakley, all of Okaloosa County. So, um, so, and we've got, uh, speaking of Glow Airlines, we're doing a little promotion coming up with, mm -hmm. with a television station in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's called KRK TV, and um, they, we've partnered with the tourism partners. Um, you want to talk a little bit about that? They're going to... They're going to come sure. here and actually shoot some. They're going to focus. They're going to focus on our airport. They're going to focus on our region. They're actually going to go on the beach. They're going to stay on the beach, and they're really going to put together uh, a series that they're going to show in Little Rock on their experience here coming through VPS and 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 into our beautiful area uh, to increase the traffic on that Little Rock flight, and it's already working. So uh, we look forward to seeing them here this weekend. So that'll be a great opportunity sure. as well for tourism in our area. And uh, and so what's what else is on the horizon? New airlines, new locations? What? We're, we're talking to airlines every day. We are. Uh, we actually have some, some me of course, the Allegiant coming into VPS has made some news nationally. Uh, so we're on the radar. Uh, a lot of folks are looking at us. We do have meetings scheduled with, with other airlines. and you know we'll, we'll see what comes okay. we'll see what happens that sounds very exciting yeah. well let's talk about a little bit about the Destin Executive Airport sure we have a um, one of the major things going on there is a construction project on the new air tra FAA air traffic control tower can yes, you update uh, our citizens and I believe that? the citizens see a picture a kind of top-down view of the current construction of the air traffic control tower which long you know, time coming as well oh it's um, <laughs> As Worked long on as that I've been with the airport system in the county, uh, we've we've worked to secure uh, a position in the federal contract tower program, which essentially means the FAA will fund the positions of air traffic controllers in the tower, which Destin can't sustain the cost of the air traffic controllers. So now that we've made it into the program, the FAA in turn is given the the, the county. Uh, over two million dollars to construct the air traffic control tower. The uh, Florida Department of Transportation also has over a million dollars in the construction. We're well underway. The road is in, uh, installed and the tower is taking shape. Uh, the cab will be constructed and set. It'll stand about 71 feet in height, VFR only. However, it's an extension of the eyes to Eglin Air Force's basis tower. If you look at the, the, the airspace in and around our area, it's extremely complex with the high speed military traffic, the commercial aviation traffic, general aviation, parasailers, banner towers, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Anything to do to make our, our, our airspace safer, uh, and, that's, and that's how we were justified entry into the program. So, uh, the tower's going up, we look to be complete with the actual construction around August, and with all the equipment, we look to be uh, operational by November. So. Extremely excited about the air traffic control tower at Destin. And, and great safety factor for yes. our citizens and yes. for our partners at Eglin, uh, all of our pilots over there and we want to everybody absolutely flying mean. in and out of Destin. So that'll be good. Um, all right, let's talk about the Bob Sykes Airport in Crestview, which is a, a phenomenal economic indicator. Very, very different than Destin or VPS here. Mm -hmm and um, it has a lot of impact on our local industry and jobs and things like that. What can yeah, you add of, to that? Sure, some of our, our, our county's largest employers operate through the fence. Uh, that, that airfield in the Bob Sykes Airport is extremely important because a lot of these companies support the missions and uh, the military, both at Herbert Field and Eglin, so, uh, and the seven special forces, so they do some training up there. It's an incredible airport. It's a virtually a brand new 8,000 foot runway, a parallel taxiway system that's completely rehab, handle any aircraft in the industry. The airport's been pre-permitted, all 1,041 acres of it, to uh, entice and attract additional businesses to the airport. So Certified. we work very, very hard. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, the Economic Development Council headed up a couple of years ago to certify Bob Sykes Airport and uh, Nathan and his team, incredible job. 
we worked for a good part of a year to put that together and now yeah. it's a site where there's certified sites on uh, Bob Sykes that are ready to go. Right, Nathan Sparks, that yes. is our, our EDC yes. director. So Nathan uh, and Kay and, and Caroline McCoy, that's super, super uh, partnership there. So when I say ready to go and everybody's heard the term shovel ready, this is beyond that. The stormwater ponds are installed, the yeah. infrastructure is in place they're more than ready to go. So when we do go to these aviation industry conferences like the National Business uh, Aircraft Association or the like to pitch the airport, we're pitching it. So right. uh, we're just looking for that, that one company that can accentuate the businesses and the mission of the military and hopefully attract them uh, to the airport. So. And we thank our commissioners as well for their for their vision and their support of our airport summit. They're certainly In, a big incredible. part of everything that we have talked about today. And the and leadership, Bob Sykes. the leadership yeah. that we have is is incredible. So we couldn't do it with, without them and their support. Well, and I also want to mention a couple of things about our airport here, and that is we do now have a cell phone lot. There is a dog park. Free cell you phone want to lot. talk about a free, free cell phone free parking lot. in the cell so phone can, lot. So you can park in the cell phone lot. Wait. Have somebody call you when mm. they've got their luggage and, and just drive up and pick them up, which is a huge convenience. Yeah. Also, the dog park, another huge convenience for our we, we traveling public. We make it public. easy. We make it easy. And in, in our backdrop, we have, you know, we're so proud of our USO. Uh, it serves roughly 1,600 uh, military families, members, and troops uh, per day. So um, it's a beautiful facility. It's very easy to come in and out of. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful place to, to, to live and to work, so I, I feel extremely blessed to, to be here. Very, very good. Yes, ma'am. Anything yes. else to add? I know you had Bring Your Daughter to Work Day here recently at the airport. Anything else that we're forgetting? Got about 30 seconds, Tracy. Yeah, we did. Um, our airport police department, in conjunction with the TSA, it's the second annual Bring Your Sons and Daughters to Work. Uh, Eglin actually heard caught wind of it so they also um, came in and, and was involved where the kids actually got to see what the parents do all day long. Uh, we had some of our police vehicles, Eglin brought over some vehicles as well and they got the tour in the back of the TSA in the checkpoint area to see what mom and dad does every day. So it was very, very well, with a lot, some 25 kids uh, here right. uh, and it was, it was great for, for also the parents. So. We, we're always looking to do things like that and be involved with all the chambers and the community, yeah. anything we can do. Well, thank you so much, Tracy. Yes, no, and thank again, you. thank you everyone for joining us here at the airport today. We want to thank Cox and all our community partners on the Okaloosa Today Show, the city of Destin and the city of Fort Walton Beach. And we will see you next time. And remember, to fly, Today uh, Show. remember to fly VPS. That's thank you. right. Thanks for watching Okaloosa Today. Join us again next month to learn about local news and information for Okaloosa County, Fort Walter Beach, and Destin.